Installing an SSD or solid state disk drive on your new notebook or ultrabook PC has many advantages over the older hard disk drives, like faster boot times and longer battery life. And they're easy to install too. But before you begin, there are a couple things you need to know. First, if you're installing an SSD in a new computer, the setup will be a breeze. Just make sure that you have the install disk that came with your computer. Otherwise, you'll need to backup or clone your existing drive. And before upgrading anything in your computer, it's always a good idea to make sure that your system BIOS is up to date. Check with your PC manufacturer's website before you begin. Also, static electricity can damage the components when upgrading your PC, so it's best to wear an anti-static wrist strap to dissipate the static electricity. But without one, it's best to use a bare table without any static-inducing items on it. And lastly, in most cases, a simple Phillips head screwdriver is all you'll need to replace the hard drive in your notebook PC. But we find one of these long-nosed tweezers helpful too. With your computer shut down, remove the power adapter and the battery. And just to be sure that all the remaining power is drained from your computer, press the power button after the battery has been removed. Next, find out where the hard drive is located. It's usually on the underside of your computer. If you're having trouble finding it, check your computer maker's website first. Now, unscrew and remove the cover. At this point, you should have a good view of the old hard drive in your computer. Each system will be slightly different, but carefully remove the screws and maybe even a supporting bracket if you have one like we do, holding the drive in place. Disconnect the SATA and power connector or cable, usually by sliding the drive away from the connection, and remove the drive from the bracket and set it aside. When installing the new SSD drive, it's important that the SATA and the power connection is securely connected. And if any brackets were used on the old drive, reconnect it to the new SSD drive first. Now, slide the SSD drive into the drive bay and it'll fit snugly. Screw it into place and replace the cover and the battery. Now, flip the computer back over and turn the computer on. You may be alerted that there's no operating system. Just insert the original installed disk that came with your computer and restart again. And this time, boot from the CD-ROM. Just follow the prompts and install the operating system, and maybe even restore from a backup. And that's it. If you have any additional questions or need additional help installing an SSD in your computer, please contact www.kingston.com forward slash support for more information. Thanks for watching.